Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full length featured review, we'll be going over the new ASUS Republic of Gamers Strix Scar 17. This is going to be a high end 17 inch gaming laptop, lots of RGB and fully loaded with the highest in hardware currently on the market. So the video card is going to be the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti Max P edition, the 150 watt version of that card. And also it has the new Core i9 12900H for the CPU. As per our normal process, we'll get things started with the unboxing so you can see how it comes packaged and what you can expect to get in the box if you were to order one of these for yourself. The unit will come double box, but we've already taken the plain cardboard box off and this is our internal matte black box. You can see the laptop has plastic on it for protection and it was inside of a cardboard compartment, not really packed with foam like we see with a lot of other laptops. As far as some of the accessories, as we get into the smaller boxes, this is one of our accessories we get. This is the Republic of Gamers key. This is um, going to be used to save settings, profiles, authentication. It does a couple of neat features with the laptop. Next up in our box down below, we're going to have some hinge covers so that you can accessorize this laptop. It comes included with two different hinge covers. One is opaque and one is transparent. Uh, the transparent one is good for showing through the LEDs if you're into the RGB lighting. And the next thing for us to uncover is the large right compartment. And this is going to have our power supply. So our power brick and the adapter cable that goes with it. And here's a close up of the power supply. Being such a high power laptop, it does use a lot of power from the adapter. So this is a 280 watt power supply. And we'll just double check to make sure there's nothing else hiding in the box. And with all the compartments open, that's everything that comes included. So let's unwrap the cellophane off the laptop. So this is going to be good for keeping it from getting scratched up during shipping. And of course, if it was in any inclement weather, such as being left on your front porch and it started raining, this would help protect the laptop from water. So here's our bottom side with some of the ventilation and then flipping over to the back. You can see the hinge cover that we were discussing earlier. So this is where those hinge covers that we unboxed earlier come into play. And of course you can put in whichever one you prefer. So let's start taking some measurements. Let's talk about the weight of the laptop. It comes in at six pounds and one ounce by itself. And once you throw the power adapter in it, it's eight pounds and four ounces of total carry weight. So here we are with our laptop now powered on and inside of Windows. Just a quick look at everything as far as the layout, some of the badges, the keyboard, the translucent front panel of the laptop. So you can actually see the electronics down below. There is no integrated webcam on this laptop. So keep that in mind. If that's a need of yours, you'll have to use an external USB connected webcam. We do have mechanical keys, which is going to be really nice for typing on a large oversized touchpad with the integrated left and right clicks. As you can see from the front angle, you do have the RGB lighting that goes around about one third from the left and right side and the entire front side has the RGB backlighting. And then you also have some lighting that shines down from the rear side. While you can't necessarily change any of the design aesthetics, you can control all of the RGB lighting from software. So 
it's per key RGB if you want to customize it to your specific taste. But of course, you can turn all of these off as well if you don't like them at all. So here's one final look at the laptop from the outside before we dive into our operating system and take a closer look at the hardware specifications and our benchmarks. So our first step on the system is to take a look at the Windows Device Manager and take a first look at the hardware. As previously mentioned, we have the full-powered NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti and the Intel Core i9-12900H as our main components. It does have DDR5 RAM, so it's using the new stuff. Bluetooth 5.2 and HDMI 2.1. It's a QHD screen with a 240 hertz refresh rate. We'll now jump over into CPU-Z and show you the information on the Core i9. And also GPU-Z for the information on the RTX 3080 Ti. And before we move into our benchmarking section, let's take a quick look at our current idle temperatures. We're going to be testing not just the performance numbers, but also the system's cooling capabilities. In most of the other systems we've recently reviewed, we've seen these high-end CPUs can get really toasty. So it'd be great to see if this laptop can do better. It is using some really high-end thermal paste, and it's a 17-inch laptop, so it has more cooling capabilities. And for our next baseline measurements, we'll also give you the sound levels for the exhaust and the current temperatures as read from the outside. So here is our thermal imaging and you can see the keyboard area is actually dissipating quite a lot of heat and the palm rest area is staying nice and cool so this will be nice to the touch it won't make your hands sweaty it might be a pretty basic concept but it's often overlooked that any given part such as the rtx 3080 ti will always produce just as much heat no matter what laptop it's in no laptop makes it run cooler it's the job of the cooling system to get rid of the heat it produces so the more heat we see removed from the system that's the better that it's cooling so don't get confused and think that it means it's a hot running system when you see a lot of hot spots like this. So we now have our performance benchmarks underway and this is 3D Mark Firestrike currently running. And we have a couple of retakes for our baseline measurements. So now here's the new sound reading with the fans spinning up to cool the system while it's under load. And here's how the updated thermal imaging looks. So 3D Mark Firestrike has now completed and our score came in at 26,847 points.
as we go look at the after measurements for our temperatures, we can see the CPU went up and we see some red lines, but what we don't see is anything over 100 degrees Celsius like we have seen with other laptops. So it actually managed to keep the CPU pretty cool, including some cores being as low as the 80s. And then down below we have our GPU temperature measurements. And the RTX 3080 Ti did not even reach 80 degrees Celsius on the main core and the hotspot measured at 84 degrees Celsius. Here's a quick measurement of the speaker levels. You have no idea who you partnered with. And now moving into our next performance benchmark, we have Cinebench R23. And our score is completed with a reading of 17,919 for the multi-core CPU. So with our initial unboxing, the system overview, inside look, and our benchmarks completed, it's now time for us to move into our final segment of the review, which is the system disassembly. Taking a quick look around, you'll see there's no quick release. It'll have to be a matter of unscrewing everything with a screwdriver to take the bottom panel off. Here are the number of screws to remove and they are of different lengths. So be sure to keep that in mind and put them back in the same order. And here is a first look of the system internals. So we have a few extra cables here because of the RGB lighting. So be careful with those and don't just yank the bottom panel off. Here's the intricate heat pipe system. Our system memory with heat shields on it. and one M2 SSD with a second slot that is free and a fairly large 90 watt hour battery. Here on the side, you get a glance at some of the speaker components. This laptop does support Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So that'd be good for media enthusiasts and anyone that's playing a game that supports those features. So our next step is to remove a few more pieces of the system. So removing the RAM, removing the battery, getting the tear down a little bit deeper. Here's our wireless card. The system does support the newest Bluetooth 5.2. And here's what the cooling solution looks like. And it's using cryo not. It's using thermal grizzly as the thermal compound. So it has a nice high end compound directly from the factory and also very nice high end brushless fan motors. And as for what is currently available in the market, the Asus really knocks it out with pretty much having the highest loadout possible and a good enough cooling system and thermal compound to keep everything under control, which has been kind of rare with some of the other really high end laptops. So if you're into gaming and you like the style of this laptop, this might be a really good fit for you. So with our disassembly complete, that is also going to be the end of our review. And if this model interests you, the best steps to take next would be to go to the video description and look for the product page link. And there you can find the current pricing and availability and the full product specifications. If you have any questions about this laptop that the video didn't answer for you, feel free to ask those questions down below in the comment section and we can answer those for you and everybody else. And of course, if you need any one-on-one -on -one support and have personalized questions, feel free to contact us by phone or email. So once again, we just want to remind everybody, this was Gentech PC and we'll see you next time.